All right, guys, welcome to our What is Coaching? The Coaching Opportunity Call. Um, I'm Monica, that's Alex, and you're going to be hearing from both of us. So right now I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get started. Share screen. All right. My beautiful little babies. Let me go to this. All right, what is coaching? This is actually uh, a picture of Alex and I when we went to our diamond retreat in Destin. Um, as you can see, all of us in there. It's just one of the ma like amazing free trips that we get to go on simply for helping people. I mean, how crazy is that? We get rewarded for um, our success and our businesses. I don't really know another company like that. But I thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your busy schedules to make this call and this amazing opportunity. So I'm gonna get started going to the next slide. Uh, about Alex and I, who are we? Alex <laughs> and I uh, are what you call in the Beachbody world success partners. I met Alex about two years ago. A lot of people assume that Alex and I have been best friends forever. And that is very far from the truth. I met Alex through coaching um, and we connected right away. It, we're a little bit different than other success partners. In a sense, we're more like soul sisters. We do everything together that's speech body related. In fact, I talk to her probably a hundred times a day. We run our challenge groups together. We have the same team page and we even do our coaching opportunity calls together. Uh, this picture of Alex and I is actually from our diamond retreat and there we are being girl bosses together. What is amazing about Alex and I, um, our businesses, although we both are coaches, they do not affect one another. So we still help each other and we have nothing to gain from that. Okay, what I'm gonna do in this next slide, I'm gonna read it off and then Alex is gonna go into detail um, everything that I'm about to read off. What is our team passionate about? This is exactly what we are looking for in our business. It's about, uh, my team is Crazy Girl Fitness and Alex's team is called Living the Drink. We are um, looking for dedication, dedications to our workouts, dedications to our businesses, dedications to our dreams, um, financial freedom. We wanna be able to live a life on our own design. We are also driven by faith, both spiritually and in this business. We are also helpers. Alex and I are always talking about just having a helping heart and truly wanting to help people regardless of anything to gain. And our team is all about the hustle. Do not let these sweet faces fool you. All right, Al, if you want to go in a little bit more detail about everything. So did you just cover financial freedom? Sorry. I, was I mean, I did, but I really didn't. Not really. Okay. So, you know, for me, when I first started coaching, it was very organic. Um, I started just because I had such amazing results in my own original accountability group that I couldn't help myself but share it with my students. And um, I was just like, Shakeology is a game changer. I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm a Shakeology addict. But I didn't really see or understand the bigger picture of what this opportunity was or what this meant for me and my family um, probably until about a year into it, honestly. I just loved helping people this way. I was obsessed with challenge groups, and I still love helping people that way. But I'm also really passionate now about the opportunity, and to see my coaches succeed is something that um, – both Monica and I are, are pushing for this year because the, the financial freedom is amazing. You know, honestly, even if you love your job, if you have the greatest job, most likely your job has a cap. It has a limit. You have a boss. You have to ask permission for your life. And that's just the way we're raised and that's the way we feel. But the more and more you engage in this community, and get the support you need from your upline, you realize there's a whole different kind of life. And even working this business part-time, reaching some 
minimal goals monthly by just serving and helping others, you are really working on your financial freedom. It is like, I like to look at it like, this is my 401k. This is my pension. And the one that decides how much goes into it is me. So I think that's pretty cool. And I love the fact that this is really a legacy and a foundation I leave for my kids. I've come to be very passionate for that because I didn't have anything like that growing up. Um, I'll be lucky to not get some bills from my parents if they. <laughs> Me <don't> too. <laughs> I'll probably be getting some some uh, debt from my dad. So they're definitely not. Um, they did not look out for their financial for future. I can tell you that. So I'd like to be different. I'd like to be better for my family. And what's amazing about this is that you're building a big a legacy. You're building a business. Let's say something were to happen to me tomorrow. This keeps growing and it goes, it belongs to my children. And that's pretty surreal if you ask me. So, um, you know, that doesn't come easy. It's dedication. It's hard work. I think a lot of the times with coaching, you see us on Facebook, you see us working out, lots of selfies. Um, and you could just think that we post on Facebook all day, but there's a lot of behind the scenes work to coaching. It's running those challenge groups. It's locking arms with people and really caring that they get the best results. And that is actually what drew me to Monica is her heart and her hustle, but also her sheer passion for fitness. And um, I'd like to really think that's what separates Monica and I is we care about all aspects, but it really starts in that initial challenge group. Um, when you change your body, it means you've changed your mind. So I look at it like if you can finish a 60 or 90 day program, you can also be a top coach. That's how I see it. Because there's nothing harder than changing those habits in your life than you can change the habits in your business. So that's the hustle. That's the freedom financially. And that's the dedication it's going to take to be successful. But it's very, very possible. All right, let's go on the next slide. Okay, um, Alex, if you want to read what is a coach, and then I'll read versus what isn't a coach. A coach is a leader, and I think that you're a leader from the moment you sign up to be a coach. I think you're a leader of yourself from the moment you sign up to be a challenger because you've decided to lead your own life and your own health. You are a motivator. Um, and it, we're just regular people is the, the bigger picture there. You know, even if you see this top successful coach, they started somewhere, you know, they are no different than you or I. Um, we're moms, we're students, we're military. Um, and, 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 you know, with Joey on this call, we're, we're our husbands or you were, we're in government services, um, working full time. And there's stay-at-home parents. It's it's everybody. This opportunity is unlimited, and it's just for anyone that wants to take control of their life and their finances and their health, and motivate and encourage other people to do the same thing. All right, what isn't a coach? A lot of people have so many misconceptions. One thing, you are not a fitness expert, nor do you need to be. Beachbody is a billion dollar business. They spend millions and millions of dollars on these workouts along with the meal plans that are designed by the top nutritionists in the world, which leads me to the next one. Um, you're not a nutritionist. Uh, for me and Alex, we both um, have a group exercise pass. Alex used to teach Zumba. I um, currently teach um, a couple classes at my YMCA, but guys, I got into that about a year after I was already a Beachbody coach. One of the many, many, many things that has opened up for me personally is a confidence to stand up and lead a classroom through an exercise that is a Beachbody workout too that I just love. Um, we are not personal trainers. Granted, um, some people like myself are personal trainers. That is 100% not required. It does not make you a better Beachbody coach than someone that is. You definitely do not have to be at your goal weight. We have a saying in Beachbody, like attracts like. You're not trying to attract people 
that have rip abs, you're trying to attract people that are just like you. A lot of people re relate to someone a little bit better that is currently still in their weight loss journey. Sales expert. You are definitely not a sales expert. I have never sold a thing in my life. In fact, even now with Beachbody, I am not a salesperson. I am a share person. All we do as coaches is share what we're doing. And it's kind of like what Alex said, what attracted us to each other was the fitness aspect of this, the results we were having with our challenge packs. Business savvy. Um, Alex and I are not business savvy at all. In fact, Al did not even know how to copy and paste before she became a Beachbody coach. True story, and she is a rock star coach. So those are definitely what you were not supposed to be as a coach. Um, what are accountability groups? Uh, I, Alex and I kind of touched upon this. This is something we both were in strictly as discount coaches. I, you know, um, my first challenge group was 90 days long. And a lot of times you think these challenge groups are uh, for a physical transformation. What Alex just said a few minutes ago, she could not have hit it so like head on. It is a mental, it is a physical transformation and a mental transformation. And you get this inside these groups. Our groups are free to all of our coaches and all of our customers. There is daily motivation in these groups. There's recipe, there are meal plans from our workouts that are provided through Beachbody. Uh, a lot of these challenges will be themed. There's prizes. There's a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching in these challenge groups. And it's total judgment-free zone. I, for one, am a huge binge eater. At least I used to be a huge binge eater. I found out in a challenge group that I was not the only one. Which the inspiring of other ones, simply by sharing what we struggle with, we are inspiring others in these groups. And a challenge group, we have the top trainers in the industry that are putting all these workouts together. Sagi, Autumn, Shaleen, Shanti, I mean, they are the best of the best and they're at our fingertips. What is that clicking? I don't know. Could someone mute their line? It's probably someone that um, did it's it. killing know. me. Just go ahead and mute your line if you can. Ari, right, Alex, if you want to read why become a coach and kind of explain. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why become a coach? Because it is the best, it's the best job in the world. Like seriously, I will go into this list, but you know, just speaking from the heart, like today I kind of had this awe moment that I do something I love every single day. I do something I'm passionate about every single day and you're constantly rewarded, you know, for just what you're wanting to do in your own business with your own goals. You're constantly rewarded with programs and wear and share and trips and I know we'll go into that but it's just it's almost like you have to pinch yourself I'm not kidding you um, but it, it is work and it is hustle and it is really having a desire and a servant's heart is what I like to say because you need to serve others and love on others your team um, your challengers and really want what's best for them if you have that heart then you are meant for our team. So um, a coach is accountability. Why become a coach? That was the first reason I became a coach is because I knew if I didn't emerge in this community 100%, I would definitely go back to my old ways. And it's still, you know, um, I'd like to tap on Monica talking about, I'm always a challenger in my challenge groups. I struggle too. Like I have a serious problem with almond butter, you know, and that's not. <laughs> Me too. I, I never above like where my challenges are. And I think that, you know, I'm always locking arms with them to get to reach my own goals. Fitness is a journey. It's forever. So a huge part of why I became a coach was strictly for this accountability. I think challenge groups and Shakeology are the game changers. So I was never going to stop doing it. Personal growth. Oh my God. It, it, wow. I, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't even know how to tap on that because who I was two years ago, I don't, I wouldn't even recognize that girl. And thank you. Cause I don't want to recognize her. I have grown, um, as a mom, as a wife, as a friend. Um, a lot of people got demoted. A lot of people got promoted. 
and um, it's all the best for me and my life and my family. I'm stronger mentally um, to the nth degree. Friendships, that's what I mean about the, you know, there were people in my life and I didn't even realize it until I was becoming mentally healthy that didn't want me to succeed, you know, um, didn't want what was best for me. And you don't realize it until you surround yourself with people that want more for you and, and they know that you deserve more. And it's, it's phenomenal. The relationships, my team is my heart. I love my coaches. I love them. I love on them. Um, it's really, I feel like they're my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Free trips. Come on, knock it off. <laughs> it doesn't love free trips. I mean, it explains itself. I am trying diligently to focus on work, and all I see myself is with a pina colada on a cruise ship. I ain't gonna oh, lie. Jamaica. Because I'm gonna be there in 18 days, and it is on my calendar, and I don't pay for a thing. Not a thing. By doing what I wanted to do in my business and helping five people a month, it's paying for itself. I honestly used to look at those coaches and look at those trips and think, okay, whatever. What's the, you know, what's the catch? Me too. I never thought I would be able to do that. I thought you had to be like a millionaire. <laughs> yeah. Like I would see Lindsay and be like, okay, that's nice, but that's not happening for me. I mean, Clay and I were lucky to do a date night. That's the truth. And now that I'm going on a cruise and, and best part, I, Clay cannot go, but I'm taking one of my coaches who I love. It is surreal. I want, I cannot even express it. And I want that for my team so much. And that's why I pour myself into my team and help them as much as I can and me grow for them because I want this for them and their families and their husbands. Um, extra income for those date nights, for those things that you want to do that you're like, we're not supposed to live paycheck to paycheck. We're not. We just think we are until we know better. When we know better, we do better. It, there is a different way to live. Um, it takes a lot of faith and a lot of heart, but it's there and it's possible. It's freedom. It's freedom to live like that, um, to have that time with your kids or if you don't have kids with your spouse, um, if you don't have a spouse <laughs> with someone that you're pursuing. Your but cat. Your cat. I don't know. Maybe you like to go to the dog park. <laughs> but if you have a boss telling you everything you're going to do and when you're going to do it, then the dog park is out of the question. And simply for the discount, when I started coaching, I didn't understand all those things or see them possible for me because I hadn't personally grown into that person that saw it possible. But my, I said, what do I need to do to just cover my Shakeology? I'm not getting off the stuff. It's either Shakeology or crack. So I had to choose. <laughs> and I felt as a mom, I should choose Shakeology. <laughs> and she told me, you know, find three people to help. Come on. If you're organically having a transformation yes, and you show your results, you go out in the street today and find three people. Okay. It's you just, could. Um, a mindset. So three people, you help with Shakeology. You've now at least covered your Shakeology. And that is your first goal. And that can be done like that when you are set up correctly and you commit yourself to this program. And those are all, that's just tapping. I could go on forever, but I'll shut up. That is just tapping on how, why you should be a coach. Woohoo. We got 20 minutes left and we're halfway. Okay. Um, Al and I are each individually going to share a story really quick. I'm going to share mine. Um, as you can see by my pictures, I have struggled with my weight. Look at those arms. You know Ooh. you want them. <laughs> I have struggled with my weight my whole life. I was that chubby little kid that got picked on for being overweight. Um, after the birth of my son, when I entered college, I gained over 50 pounds. So, um, you know, and I lost all that weight. Like you can see me at age 29. I look anorexic. And mm. to be honest with you guys, I kind of was. I am a recovering binge eater. So I would spend days where I would binge. I never purged, but I would spend days where I would starve myself. And the only exercise I did was cardio. I had met with personal trainers in the past that told me I was overtraining, that I needed to weight train. I ended up with osteopenia at the age of 25. And that's a deterioration of the bones because I was not eating and all I was doing was cardio. After I had my daughter at, I think I was like 32 when I had her, I tried to go and um, do my binging and starvation and nothing but cardio. And I don't know if it was because my body was just tired of it. Actually, it was God. 
saying there's another way, Monica. You cannot continue like this. And that is hey, how. Mom. Yes. Sorry, my thing just beeped for 20 minutes. You want 10 minutes now? Yes, me. And thank you so much. All right, I'm setting it now. All right, thank you. That's one of our coaches. <laughs> so anyway, um, when I came across Beachbody, it was honestly um, my coach's rock hard app. She posted on Facebook. And I was like, oh my goodness, what are you doing? Because I am starving myself here and I cannot lose this baby weight. And she told me about Beachbody. She told me about Shakeology. And to be honest, guys, I had Brazilian butt lift. I tried it like five times. I maybe did it two times and then I would fail. And when I saw the price of Shakeology, I was like, forget that. I had liked meal replacement shakes. I did not like the idea of drinking them twice a day. And every meal replacement shake I have ever tried has always left me so hungry. So when I found out what I needed to do, and I only had to drink Shakeology once a day, I like signed up as a coach because like Alex, I needed that discount. I was only working part time, like two to three days a week because we had decided to bring me home so I could, you know, stay home with my daughter. We really were living paycheck to paycheck. I am like a huge budget queen, Excel spreadsheet, every penny is accounted for. I use my birthday money to buy my challenge pack. I signed up as a coach and had no idea how I was going to pay for it the following month. In fact, I wanted nothing to do with coaching. I am a very private person. You cannot tell that by my Facebook page, but I am such a private person. It is very, very hard for me. Well, it used to be very hard for me to open up and share. And now, you know, I'm like the selfie queen. I look for any reason to show my muscles, but I, I didn't want anything to do with coaching. But what happened and kind of like what Alex was talking about organically, People saw me drinking my Shakeology and asked what it was. People at my job, like I started selling challenge packs to my friend and coworkers because they saw my amazing results, not because I was saying, hey guys, buy for me, buy for me, buy for me. And that's how I grew this. Like I was like, oh my goodness, not only am I paying for my Shakeology, but I have extra money left over every night. Steve and I are completely debt free aside from our house. And with my beach body money, I'm actually paying our house off. Um, so, you know, that's my story. I don't want to go into too much detail because I know Alex likes to talk. <laughs> I love her. Um, you know, for me, I kind of get kickbacks, especially like, you know, when I, when I first posted those photos, that's actually not from my original challenge. It's for when I committed, I think, 60 days of Insanity Max. So, but here's the thing, you know, I have people like, you don't look any different. Honestly, my transformation has been more mental. It's been a personal development transformation. But even though um, I didn't, I never had a huge amount of weight to lose. Um, I have never really struggled with being overweight. That's not my story but I have struggled with being unhealthy. I have struggled with not being fit. Um, I call myself here in this picture, that, that's skinny fat. Like that's not fat, but that ain't fit. You know, that ain't, that ain't, that's not feeling good about yourself. Okay, this girl, she, um, she doesn't listen to personal development. So she thinks that her life has to stay where it is right there. Um, that girl in the first photo, she doesn't sleep well. She doesn't eat well. My problem was I didn't eat at all. I didn't take care of me. I took care of everybody else. Um, when my son was born, he had huge health issues. And um, I was at every doctor's appointment. We didn't know what was going on with him. We actually just got a diagnosis on him six months ago. But my journey really was I call it my like, it was really a, a breakdown, but it was a, a spiritual awakening because I had a moment that I realized that I was obsessed with him almost to the point where I no longer cared about myself. Um, I didn't eat. If I ate, it was fast food. It was on the go. Um, I lived off like coffee and um, adrenaline of worry and fear. That's that girl. And that's not healthy. And um, in my accountability group, I felt started loving myself again. It wasn't as much about what I was losing 
which is true. It was about what I was gaining. I was someone that was going to work out every day, even if it convenienced other people. And that was huge for me. I was someone that was going to believe that I could do this if someone else could do that, do this. And that was huge for me. And now I don't even recognize the lack of fight in that girl. Um, so everybody's story is different. You know, my story isn't that I lost a hundred pounds, but I certainly gained a hundred pounds of self-worth and wanting to be healthy for my kids and wanting to be fit and wanting to set boundaries with people that, and things that didn't serve me and wanting to build a business that I never thought I could. So everybody's different. Um, but your story is your story, you know, and, and don't let anybody, it doesn't matter. You know, I'll talk to people and they're like, well, I don't have weight to lose. You know, when we talk about Shakeology and stuff, it doesn't even matter if you don't have weight to lose. If you're not eating right and you're not fueling your body, you are making it about being skinny. And what me and Monica like to focus on is about being healthy. And that's in all areas. Fitness is not about skinny. Fitness is about strong and it's a journey. You know, um, I still find myself too skinny in that picture. And now I'm trying to work on getting arms that look like Monica's. I don't want to be skinny anymore. I want to be ripped. I want to be fit. I have um, constant fitness goals. And I think that's, that's the real beauty of health and fitness. This is forever. It is. And you know, like Alex said, you guys, I was um, so fearful in the beginning. That's why I didn't want to post on Facebook. That's why I didn't want to share. And being part of a company that constantly tells you, you want your business to grow, focus on you. Your business will grow when you grow. And that yeah. to me is so mind blowing because I've been in corporate America for so long when they don't care that your kid is sick. They don't care that you had a rough night. They don't mm -hmm. care that you're living paycheck to paycheck because the economy is bad and they don't want to hear your sob story about needing a raise. I gave myself a hundred percent raise this year. All thanks to Beachbody. Oh me my too. goodness. Okay, here we go. All right, perks of being a coach. Let me make sure I didn't see <clears throat> um, Monthly prizes and awards. Every single month, we get prizes from helping anywhere from three to um, five people a month. We can get shirts, we get personal development books, we get cute little bobbleheads, we all just got a CG one, all those um, P90X shirts, hammer and chisel shirt, 21 day fix, all prizes. Alex and I are going to Jamaica in like two and a half weeks. We're driving down together. You always get to bring a guest with you. You can even bring your children with you. This is no not, thanks. yeah, right. <laughs> but if you wanted to, you could. And my guest, hundred percent free, guys. We don't have to pay anything for these trips. These trips are rewards for us growing our business. And that totally blows my mind because my corporate job doesn't even do a Christmas party anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for real. You know, Clay's Christmas party, they made us pay for oh $40 goodness. for a plate. Me I'm like, too. you are in the military. You don't make squat. And now we have to pay to go to your Christmas party. Like the world is tilted and it's, it's not right. It ain't right. And you know what? On these cruise ships, we have special parties. Alex and I went to some. Oh, we got to go to special <laughs> parties. We did not have to pay for our food. It's just crazy. Um, another perk, you get commission off helping people, um, which we have another slide for that. The best part is the team incentive prizes. It does not do us any justice to sign you up as a coach and say deuces. We do not succeed in this business if our coaches are not succeeding. Same thing with your challenge groups. You're not going to succeed as a coach if you're putting people in these challenge groups and you're just not caring. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful part about joining Al's and my team is we are star diamond coaches. And what that means is we haven't just had our own personal success, but when you become a star diamond coach, that means you're able to duplicate the process and your coaches are able to have the exact same success as you, which is pretty cool. Another perk of being a coach is paying off debt and helping change lives. Um, I think we only have about 10 minutes, Al. Did you want to add anything to that before I go to the next one? 
You're at 10 minutes exactly. Ooh, okay. I'm going to go. No, I think I think we should leave some time for a Q&A, to be okay, honest with cool. you, really quick. It would be really important because people might have questions on how you get people or how you make it happen. So I think that would be important awesome. to you. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through these slides really quick. How do you earn income? I kind of talked about you get 25% commission on retail orders. If your customer orders, you receive 25% commission off everything they purchase now and in the future. You get customer and success club leads. Um, I'm not really going to go into that too much, but once you become Emerald Rank in Beachbody, that is when you start to get leads. Beachbody pays millions of dollars in advertising. So whenever you see those really cool infomercials and those people buy a challenge pack, Beachbody gives them a coach. If you're an Emerald coach, that coach could be you. One of our top coaches in this business was a success club lead. How amazing would it be to get the next top coach, well, of course you're gonna be the top coach, to be on your team. And when you hit success club 10 every single month, they give you success leads, which means not only do they give you customers, but you make commission off those customers. I just got one. It yeah, awesome. oh, it's great. Team bonuses, um, kind of like we said before, when your team starts succeeded, you start to succeed and everybody wins. Matching bonuses are the same thing. When your coach start making a team, that team, you know, it's all about duplicating the process. Everything we do is 100% duplica duplicatable. Duplicable? Du duplicable, whatever. Like, look at this, we're successful and I don't even know how to say that word. Okay, what are we looking for? We are looking for self-starters. We are looking for dreamers. Mm -hmm. We're looking for people that are goal-oriented. Guys, if you have a goal of just paying for your, your Shakeology every month, that is still a goal. I did not enter into this business saying that I wanted to make $2,000 a month. You know, that's just not something I even thought was possible. And there's coaches that are making $50,000 a month, you know? So like, uh, you have to be a team player. We really do, the day you enter in either one of our teams, because we run our team pages together, like you're our family now. We're, we're in it to win it for you. You have to be teachable. You have to understand, like Alex kind of said before, and uh, I'm not the same person I was two years ago. Uh, if you want your business to grow, you have to grow, but you have to be teachable. You have to be fun. Alex and I, we are not serious. Yeah, you have to be really uh, fun. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys can tell, but we are kind of a little bit passionate. And you know what? I, I put that on there for our slides, but I do think that is something that is kind of developed because I don't know if I was this passionate when I first started as a coach. No, it is. It's all developed. <laughs> all right. How do we get started? <laughs> Let your journey begin. All right, if you sign up with a challenge pack, and Alex and I are very, very firm believers in this process. So if you're gonna be one of our coaches, you absolutely have to get a challenge pack. You cannot promote a challenge group to someone if mm -hmm. you are not in one yourself. You most definitely cannot mm. promote Shakeology and all of its amazing benefits if you're not drinking it every day. Nobody likes a poser, nobody. <laughs> and if you buy this challenge pack, you have a one-time fee of $40. Huh? Look at my hair. I'm trying to make it nice and it's just a wreck. <laughs> um, when you sign up with a challenge pack, your $40 coaching fee gets waived. You do not have to worry about paying that. If you decide to be a coach after you have purchased your challenge pack, you pay the $40 up front, but it gets 100% refunded back onto your account in two days. Um, a great place to start if you're thinking about challenge packs, 21 day fix. It has everything you need to be successful. I mean, look at this amazing before and after picture. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, now you have to buy hardcore because that's what I'm doing next. <laughs> okay. I'm a coach. So now what? Um, if you decide to join team leaving the dream crazy girl fitness, we have a team page. We are going to put you in one of our challenge groups. We have a Get Started Right video we're gonna show you. Alex and I both do um, Getting Right Started calls with you. We're gonna get you a success partner. We have special trainings. 
that we have worked very hard on to help you become just as successful as us. Why? Because success leaves footprints and we are going to hook arms to, with you, but you have to be ready to work. Welcome to our family. This is kind of our motto. Our success is determined by how many lives we change, not by how much we sell. We cannot stress enough that if you go into this business with the mentality that you are just going to sell something to people, it is not going to work. This is our heart. This is our passion. We really do want to help people and we 100% believe in Beachbody. Um, do you have any questions? If you're ready to sign up, please contact your coach. I invited you to this call and I think we have a few minutes. So I'm going to escape out of here and I'm going to not share my screen anymore. All right. And if anybody has any questions that they would like to ask, we have less than a minute. So I don't really think any in the event page that you were invited to, all of us coaches are going to go to that right now. If you have any questions, let's all commit to staying on there about 10 to 15 minutes. If anyone invited you to this call, go to the event page on um, my fitness page and we'll all stay there and answer any questions that you have. Does that sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for um, coming out to listen to Alex and I speak um, from the bottom of my heart. This has totally changed our lives and we want to pass it on. Okay, bye. bye.